Okay, we're back at Focus on Imaging 2012 and we're on the Gizzo stand today. And uh, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. What's your name? My name is Carlo Largaioli. That's uh, Carlo Largaioli. Hi, Carlo. How are you doing? <laughs> doing good. <laughs> That's rude of me. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> now, I believe you're going to show us today uh, the new Gizzo Systematic. Correct. Is that right? Yes, correct. What, what, what is Systematic? Well, Systematic is a family into the Gizzo range of tripods, and it's uh, we can call it as a standard in the industry for long lenses and specific type of long lenses applications. So okay, so is this what you've got here with you? Sports. There this, you go. This is what you're casually leading against. This is the. Uh, uh, are, there, are there multiple systematic? Yes, you are, it's divided by series Gizzo. So you will have a series two, series three, four, and five. Right. Okay. And this is this is a series two, and you can read that by. The uh -huh. codes on the tripod. Okay. I see. Yep. Yep. So this is basically series two, three sections. The S stands for systematic. I see. So what is the what is the benefit of the new systematic system? Benefits can be basically summarized into two main things. The first one is the design of the upper casting. Uh huh. And the second one. I love I, I love this Gizzo style mottled metal. I think that looks. We think, call it noir de corps. It's a right. It's a typical painting for, for Gizzo and they manufacture it for us. It's kind of like the Red of Cartier a little bit if you want. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, you know, it's like, it's like power tools. Every power tool company has their own color, doesn't it? Exactly. And the tripod companies have a similar... Correct. They all have their own look. Correct. And uh, I love this Gizzo look, yeah. And uh, I said design on one hand, on the other hand is safety. Because safety, once you put 10 grand lenses on top of it, becomes an issue, all right? Absolutely. So let's go from the safety side. Okay, Basically, sure. you can see that I have here an upper plate, which is locked firmly. Right. I can go lock in even more with a very convenient lever here. Right, okay. so there's no tools here. This is there's no tools. You just a built-in lever that you just... And you just go like that. Right, right? just tighten it with your fingers. Now it's completely locked and doesn't move. Uh -huh. Then you can unlock it. And once you have unlocked it enough, there's a second safety mechanism coming in place. Right. All right, okay. there's a button here. Uh. I press the button uh -huh. and I take out the plate. Okay. Okay. Right, so not going to fall out by itself. Exactly, that's exactly the intention. So once I'm here and I mount my heavy duty lens here, uh -huh. 600, 400, whatever, the weight is going to move that way, correct? Right, yeah, yeah. Now it's not going anywhere. Right. Even if I forget about locking it. Uh huh. That's the intention of the safety. Oh, so that's the that so the button locks it enough to, to hold that to if it hold needs to. That unintentional movement. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, I always suggest to lock it. Oh, of course, yeah, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So, what system? I mean, I can see that 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 plate there will take all sorts of accessories. What sort yes. of accessories have you got that will suit that? Well, you can put central columns. You can put uh, leveling bases. You can put a half wall for video heads, uh -huh. 75 or 100 millimeters. So uh, it's, it's just right, it. the, the whole range, I guess, yes, of, of, of that's the whole range. And what about how how low does this does this uh, tripod go? This thing here, thanks to the triangular shape of the upper casting that you see here, uh -huh. like that, this allows us to reach 25 kilos on the series two, three, and four. Yeah. And on the series five, we get to 40 kilos. 40 kilos. Yes. Wow, that's 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 a lot. That's massive. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think you've got a, a new feature here with the... Yes, we got some, some ergonomy here to, that has been considered. You have to think that once you're working with your load on top here, yeah. it's going to be crazy heavy. So having this movement easy makes, just see that from the side? makes a lot of difference. I see. So you can pull it out, you can, turn, you can uh, pull out the leg, and then you can push it back in. Control no. the angle. And and no no need again. to hold it out while you tilt the leg and then... Exactly. Have it sprung loaded back in. Exactly. Right. Great stuff. Well, that's uh, that's looking like a, an excellent system. What sort of price are we looking at for? Um... Here we're moving in between the 550 all the way up to a thousand more or less pounds. Right. So these are these right. are pretty high end. High end, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Serious photographers yes. with with expensive yeah. equipment that they don't want to get damaged. Exactly. Great stuff. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye.
Photo Walkthrough is a free online video show about photography and digital photo editing using Photoshop and Lightroom. Please help support the show by using our sponsor's promo codes or by passing the promo codes on to your friends. Join the Photo Walkthrough community, find all the old shows, and subscribe to the new ones for free at photowalkthrough.com. Thank you.